Element number four, beryllium. Beryllium was first discovered in 1798 by French chemist Louis Nicolas Vauquelin, who identified it in emeralds and beryl gemstones. At first, scientists called it glucinum because some of its compounds tasted sweet, though that name was quickly dropped once they realized how toxic it is. Eventually, it became known as beryllium, named directly after the mineral beryl. Pure beryllium metal wasn't isolated until 1828, when Friedrich Wöhler and Antoine Bussy produced it independently in the same year. In the early 20th century, beryllium became crucial for X-ray technology because it allows X-rays to pass through with almost no interference. During World War II and the Cold War, it played a secret but vital role in nuclear reactors and early atomic weapons due to its ability to reflect neutrons. Over time, its combination of strength and lightness led to major uses in aerospace, satellites and precision instruments. Today, beryllium is used in aircraft components, deep space telescopes, sensitive gyroscopes, high-performance electronics and particle detectors. It's incredibly strong, yet extremely lightweight, and it has one of the highest melting points of any light metal. Fun fact, the James Webb Space Telescope's mirrors are made of beryllium because it stays stable at extreme temperatures in deep space. And despite its usefulness, even tiny amounts of beryllium dust can be dangerous, making it one of the most strictly regulated elements in industry. If you like this video and want to see more, click the link below. Thanks for watching your daily dose of science. If you learn something new, tap like and share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe for more amazing science facts every day.